Okay, our first part of our notes today is about Euclidean versus spherical geometry. Euclidean geometry is the geometry that we've always been using. It's based on the idea that we're going to work on a flat surface. <coughs> this is the geometry that we've been using all year long and the geometry that you see used for most things we do because it works well for almost all things that we do in everyday life. Even big projects like building buildings, we're still dealing with things that are flat, building cars, even building larger things like bridges. We still base everything off the fact that we're dealing with flat planes, straight lines. So what's the big deal? Does it always work? Well, the problem is when we start talking about things that are bigger on the Earth, the Earth is a sphere. And so if we talk about, for instance, a plane trip going from New York to Hong Kong, now we're not talking about a flat surface, now we're talking about a sphere. And spherical geometry is based on the idea that we're going to now deal with the surface of the Earth, which is a sphere. So, what you need to know? As I go through these slides, fill in the blanks on your handout. The main difference between spherical and Euclidean geometry is that in Euclidean geometry, we said a plane is a flat surface. In spherical, a plane is a sphere. It's like the surface of the Earth. A line in spherical geometry is no longer just a straight line. It's actually a great circle. And a great circle is any circle on a sphere that has the same center as the sphere. So each one of these circles drawn on here is a great circle. And we consider those lines. And then points are exactly the same in both kinds. So things that are the same. Number one, through any two points, there is exactly one line. One line or one great circle because we said great circles are the same as lines. Through any three points, there is exactly one plane. Here, one plane, three points here, makes one plane, one sphere. A line contains at least two points. Two points here, two points here. Remember, a line is a great circle. All right angles are congruent. We're used to right angles looking like this, but we can see here, right here, this is a right angle. It's 90 degrees, and it's congruent to this one over here. Now we're going to talk about ways that they're not the same. First, the first one has to do with parallel lines. If we have in Euclidean geometry a line and a point that's not on the line, there's just one parallel line that goes through that point. However, if I try to do the same thing here, here's a line, it's this great circle, and this point over here, I could draw a couple of different great lines through this point, but none of them are going to be parallel to this line here because they're always going to intersect. So here there's one line that goes through it. Here there are no lines that are parallel to the first one. In Euclidean, <coughs> two lines intersect at a point. Here, two lines, which are these gray circles, they intersect at two points. In Euclidean, a triangle always adds up to three, 180 degrees. Here though, if we look at this triangle made by these three lines, you can see that it's more than 180. In fact, this one could be made with three right angles. So it's always more than 180 in a triangle. And the shortest distance between two points in Euclidean is a straight line, and in spherical, it's an arc.